Hello everyone, my name's Joel. Today I'm doing one of my punctuation basics videos. Today we're going to focus on the end of the sentence or terminal points. And if you're an advanced student, there's plenty here for you as well, because later on in the video we're going to talk about interrobangs and some of the extra rules and combinations that are happening in today's text messages and informals. Uh, writing. But for most people uh, who are watching this video, you're probably more interested in the full stops and periods, exclamation points, and question marks, as well as briefly touching on the debate regarding spaces after periods. So, what is punctuation? Punctuation is used to separate sentences or parts of sentences from each other. There are 14 punctuation marks. Some would say 15. Um, we are going to concentrate on the full stop question mark and exclamation mark, but there are also commas, semicolons, colons, dashes, hyphens, parentheses, brackets, braces, apostrophes, quotation marks, and ellipses, and bullet points count them as well. So what does punctuation do? Punctuation serves as a pause within the sentence and it emphasizes certain words or phrases. It helps the reader understand what the writer is trying to say and it places stress on certain functions of the sentence. Punctuation marks can also be used to divide text into words and phrases when necessary in order to better clarify their meaning if you use punctuation incorrectly, you can change the meaning of the sentence into something completely different. As I mentioned, today we're focusing on the punctuation at the end of a sentence. So three of the 14 punctuation marks are appropriate as sentence endings. These are called the period or full stop, the question mark, and the exclamation mark. These are called terminal points. And if you don't end a sentence properly, you risk writing a run-on sentence. We'll talk about run-on sentences another day. So the first one is a full stop, sometimes called a period in America. And some of my students also say dot or point. The dot or point comes probably from numeracy, so it's not really used in English, but we understand what you're talking about because it does look like that. So full stops indicates the end of a thought of an or idea. It can be used to pause after a thought and it's placed at the end of declarative and imperative sentences. It is also put in abbreviations such as ASAP, which is as soon as possible. So for some examples of full stop use, we've got a basic declarative sentence, she studies, and she studies and he reads a book, compound declarative, so you'll notice the comma in there as well, that's another uh, punctuation mark that we'll do another day. It's also used in imperatives like sit down and in abbreviations. So you can see the full stop has been highlighted in yellow in all of those sentences. Question mark. Question mark is used at the end of a question. It is used for interrogative sentences. Examples, did you do your homework? Are you going to study tonight? Where is our class today? So the question mark is highlighted. You use a question mark when posing a direct query to turn a statement into a question. In statements ending with a word inflection as a query or with question tags. After a direct question which is inserted inside a statement. In writing a series of questions, you use a question mark for each question. And if you insert a question at the beginning, put the question mark in the middle, but do not capitalize the following words. When I started making this page, I realized that I'd sort of bitten off a bit more than I can chew bearing in mind that we don't have a lot of time for each of these videos. 
So I think I'll leave that there. And if there is a lot of interest in the actual punctuation of question, we can get into that in more detail in another video. The exclamation mark was also called exclamation point. It's used in dialogue to mark an outcry or a shout. It's used in other writing for emphasis and in what's known as exclamatory sentences. Sometimes it's overused by native speakers though. And you've got some examples here with the exclamation mark highlighted in yellow. So as I said, sometimes exclamation points are overused and in general it is um, better to not use them, um, especially when you are writing academically because it is a little bit too exaggerated or emotional. Um, so use them sparingly if you're going to use them. Some variations of those three uh, punctuation marks is the ellipsis, which is three dots, and that is used for a totally different purpose. It's used in omissions and in quotes. We'll cover that in another video, but it's not related to full stops at all. The triple exclamation mark indicates the strong emphasis or surprising nature of the sentence. It's uh, very informal and really you shouldn't use it at work, um, but it's sometimes seen these days in text messages and informal writing. Another variation is the triple question mark. So multiple question marks indicate serious doubt, disbelief, excitement, or uncertainty. They're very informal and even discouraged. So then you'll see some people, they will go on and on with more than three. So basically you shouldn't do that, but um, so you should do no more than three. Some people frown on even that, it's very, though more than one is often informal. One that is becoming a little bit more common these days is the exclamation um, mark and question mark together and we'll talk about that. but in general you should avoid using multiple punctuation at the end of a sentence never end a sentence with a question mark or exclamation point followed by a period if a sentence ends with a period that is part of an abbreviation do not add a second period those are American rules so we've got this question mark exclamation mark combination known as an interabung or interabung. And you can see that the um, State Library of New South Wales uses it as in their logo. So it's informal, but becoming more acceptable than other punctuation marks. It expresses both exclamation and interrogation. Not widely used, still, the, still being debated and was an, unlike other punctuation marks, it was recently invented. So talking about spaces, so there's a big debate about spaces. Should we have one? Should we have two? There's all different rules, um, but basically it's just a leftover from when we had um, text um, type and you put the little blocks into um, to, to print and that often the M was bigger so the M would sometimes take it twice as much space so they would include that but these days it's get becoming less and less common I believe Microsoft just um, changed their settings on that you can still do it it's totally up to you but it's recommended to just use one Please don't and hate messages if you like to use two. If you want to use two, go and use two. But bearing in mind that people those are more often using one. All right, so here are some examples of the differences between British English and American English. Australian English tends to use 
the British system. So we normally say full stop. We normally say exclamation mark. We'll leave the rest for later. If you found this topic interesting, check out these extension activities. There's a video about the exclamation mark, question mark, and full stop. There's um, some this really good punctuation guide. Here's top 10 punctuation things you need to know. This was an interesting thing about using more than one exclamation mark. And this was um, an interesting debate about the one or two space after a period. So thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As you can see, punctuation is very important and it improves your writing. Um, I know that it's on one level it may seem very basic, but some people are still getting small little mistakes with this and forgetting to capitalize after the end of a sentence and after the end of one sentence and the beginning of the other. So I hope that this has provided you with some information. Here are my references. So thanks for listening. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to keep up to date with my other English videos, please subscribe to my station and I will see you in class. Bye.